All right, everybody, welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. And like I promised yesterday, today's gonna be kind of a fun experiment. I've already seen the thumbnail. Will an engine run on paint? And uh, kind of doing something fun for Drew's last afternoon. Yeah, we're gonna do things today. We're gonna do things? We're gonna do things and stuff. So we've gotta do a little bit of um, engineering first to make sure we can get uh, our paint can set up. Cause we've got extra spray paint from like when my girls painted my Danger Ranger. Um, yeah, we've just got leftover paint and we're gonna use it today. We're gonna use it. We're gonna use all of it. First, we gotta see if, like I'm curious how well it works just spraying brake cleaner down yeah. its throat. Brake cleaner, yeah, first. So, yeah, let's see what happens when, when we try to put flammable things that aren't gasoline down. We have a whole shelf. We can find something that will make it run good. All right, so you think run good or just run? Run, run. We're we gonna record this on the dyno? Oh, we better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's go dig the test vehicle out of the back of the shop and uh, see what kind of violence we can create today. I think there's gonna be violence. There's violence and shenanigans, that's all. Does it have oil in it? I don't know. Maybe. All right, we're not even gonna check. See you in a second. all right so all right so way 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 back in several videos we said we were going to do this and now we're actually going to make it happen since drew's leaving but but <laughs> oh we weren't going to do that oh we weren't no you, what do you wait we weren't going to do this no somebody could have bought that fender and used it on their truck this fender right here <laughs> you didn't even leave a mark that time it's not better <laughs> All right, so this thing has like two and a half cylinders that are running and we're gonna just finish off the rest of it Whether that be Throw something down its throat or See if it kicks the rods out of it on the dyno You gonna put it you know, you know see if it'll run to the dyno it, it, it Run run. I wouldn't call it run. No radio. At least it's a cold day. So it'll stay that, cooler. Yeah, that's even without a radiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, we're yeah, hop, hop in this bad boy. Well, we gotta hook it up Let's first. Let's show the people. Well, well, why didn't you do that? Technically, you have to start it because the starter is under the hood. I have to start it. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, first off, I didn't have a battery that fits, so we kind of gotta just. Oh, hey, keys on or something. Yep. I mm -hmm. heard buzzing. Yep, but that's. Yeah, then your uh, starter's right here. Well, hold on. If it's. Yeah, make sure it's in neutral. Okay, we're good. I think it's in neutral. Yeah, we're in neutral. We're good. So you just... Oh, 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 okay. Oh. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, come on now. <laughs> D define run. <laughs> It'll get there, it'll get there. <laughs> oh, yes! Keep it, keep it, keep it running! You better get in it and like keep it running right. to the dyno. Right. Well, I'm just gonna hold it wide open the whole time. So. <laughs> you said it has no brakes too, right? No brakes, none at all. Don't run into Lee's trailer. No promises. You're gonna have to ease it in and out of gear and stuff. Yeah. You ready? Uh, this sure. is anti-theft device in here.
think you got it. I'm trying to tell you to stop now. Ah. Uh, hey, we'll let the water drain out of it. All right, well, I need both hands for this because this is just bad. So we'll see you on the dyno in just a second. All right, well, as you guys may have realized from the video trying to move it, she's not running too good. So we think it needs some extra fuel. So I've got a little bit of brake cleaner. I'm gonna try and see if the brake cleaner helps it out. Uh, we fabricated, we took this, this video several hours later and we fabricated a cold air kit that um, is, is gonna maximize all the horsepower. And uh, here it is. So yeah, a couple hours of fabrication. Drew showing off his mad fabrication skills. That might have been about three seconds of fabrication. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, we're gonna see if it runs on paint. I mean, paint's flammable, right? Paint is flammable. Very clean, flammable. As long as we get it past, you know what? I'm gonna get some welding gloves on just in case it backfires. That's that's probably a good <laughs> idea. You're being too safe now. Maybe a helmet? No, I got the face oh, shield. Oh yeah, you're good. So a full face shield, and uh, I'm gonna have to set this up somehow. Oh, we need to get the cardboard. Make sure the cardboard is under the engine in case this thing kicks a rod out of it. That's a good point. Put some up I need to put a camera too. down on the bottom or side to see if, let me see if I can go find another camera. See if we can catch something cool from the bottom, bottom side. All right, so I uh, got me a little fire suit action going on because I ordered a fire suit, custom fire suit, and they sent the wrong size. It's way too big and it's a two piece instead of a one piece. So it works out good for situations like this. Although I don't have a helmet. So I'm just gonna face mask up, gonna cover my hands with some welding gloves because I'm gonna be spraying paint right down the intake tube <laughs> through our ram air tube. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. This isn't typical for us or for me, for me especially. Drew does some stuff, some silly things, <laughs> but not me. So let's see what happens. Ready? Oh, no! Oh. Need, a battery. Need a battery charger. Fail. All right, attempt number two, hopefully with a little bit more of a charge battery. First we'll crank it. Then we'll see if we can keep it running and actually get some dyno numbers for this beast. You ready? Oh, you gotta hit the green one more time. Oh, well, I'll try it. What do we get for horsepower? Hit the green? Yeah. Oh, we're calculating. Did we break 50? <laughs> oh, I didn't record. Oh, shoot. Oh, or to buy engine. I need the keyboard. Where's the keyboard at? I bet there's something there by speed because we didn't have the RPM hooked up. Here, you hold the camera. All right, let's see. Oh, 52! 52! <laughs> nice! All right, so now, we gotta see if it'll run on spray paint. What do you think? I mean, spray paint's pretty flammable. I got high hopes. I'm going, I'm gonna go 62. 62 more horsepower? I'm gonna have to like be really Whoa. careful with spraying the paint in there. Well, when it got to six grand, I think I lifted. Maybe we need to rev route to like 
Keep it pinned. 8,500 maybe? Keep her pinned. To the wood. <laughs> the wood. All right, let's go back to... All right. Got our alternator hooked up. Can you hold on to that? Yes. All right. Will it run on paint and make some power? See, the trick is I can't spray the mass airflow sensor. So we've rigged up our paint can with, with a straw. I'm gonna go ahead and glove up on this one because I want to make sure I get the straw in deep enough to keep it, to try and keep it running. Will an engine run on spray paint? This thing doesn't run worth a flip without extra fuel. So this is, this is some scientific stuff right here. How about this? How about this pool? I'll lift it like six-ish again. Okay. See, see, it ends at six okay. on the dash up here. So I figured, you know, that's probably the max. That Why is there so many lights on on the dash? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You actually want that. It reminds you of Christmas. Christmas is <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's uh, try this again. you guys think that I was not spraying paint down her throat there was paint going down it it would be hilarious if the inside of the exhaust pipe was <laughs> oh no oh, it's, it's it lost power. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> you want that actually oh yeah that's what you want maybe the traction control was turning on that was it yeah, yeah. I want to try it again maybe let's try a different color yeah maybe a different color will work a little better realized that we made a critical error in our paint selection we weren't using race car red yeah you, you have to use red because everybody knows that race cars are red our mistake do you think do you think that because we paint, painted red will that make it run like a Ferrari? <laughs> well yeah all right so this red line brake cleaner the blue line green paint Let's see what happens when uh, we hit her with some red paint. I'm thinking, I'm saying, I don't know. I, no guesses are even worth making at this point. So hopefully the rods stay in it. Or maybe not. That would be exciting too. Let's see what happens. Hey, Kevin. Mike, check engine lights on. Can you check and see if it's still there? It's good. Thank you. it down with some brake cleaner so now we got red and uh, purple in there 
Oh, don't. Oh! Oh, oh it's better than the it's better than their blue or the green paint. So the green is actually the red. 44 horsepower. <laughs> I just get framed. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he's not lifting. I'm not taking my finger oh, yeah. off the button. Well, I was waiting for six. I, I mean, yeah. It didn't get there? Well, it, it barely got there. Let's see if a mix will double them, like add them together. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how math works. That's how math works? Yeah. I think so. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my next idea. Red paint plus brake cleaner, and we'll see uh, we'll see what's going on. RPM we are trying to turn this thing to. So Drew thought up a very good solution. This is how you fix your tack and make it go higher. Okay. You just come in here and you, you draw the line and just, <laughs> yes. How many RPM? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Which one of us is going to chicken out first? <laughs> Me? I'm in the safe spot. <laughs> you got a point. You got a point. So. All right, two cans of brake cleaner for all the fuel and third gear. So longer of a pull, the oil's got to be getting hot. I, I haven't checked to see if there's oil in it. We <laughs> should do that. Why? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we wouldn't be care. <laughs> all right, let's see what happens.
wide open. We have solved the question that we know everybody was asking. Will an engine run on paint? I mean, it, it did. And some brake cleaner. But uh, we've had a, we've had a, we've had a little bit of a problem. Is it this how like Jiffy Lube changed the oil? <laughs> <laughs> so there's definitely a piece of block there and a whole lot of oil. <laughs> it's probably a little warm. I think that's dirt. Oh, that wasn't even block. There's some block oh. pieces. Chuck it out the side of there. Uh, I think so. There's oil all up the side of the engine. There was fire. What? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh yeah. See, we were even smart and put down some cardboard ahead of time. Wait, 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 wait. that's block. Yeah, that's definitely yeah, block. Yeah, that's definitely There's block. There's a piece oh, yeah. of block. Oh, there's more over there. Oh yeah, we got pieces. All the way back here, let's slide this uh, second one up. Oh, there's a big piece of block. I mean, is it block? Oh no, it's oil pan. You kick the side. You go get a flashlight. Yeah, we gotta get a flashlight so I can show you show you guys better. All right, Drew, grab the flashlight. I almost fell oh, down in the oil. Oh yeah. There's a hole in your oil pan, Drew. Oh, there's a hole in the block too. I see it venting from above the oil pan rail. It was still running when we shut it off. Hey, as much as I'd love to talk crap about Ford Rangers, it's pretty good, pretty impressive. <laughs> Trying to light up inside the exhaust. I want to see if it's like. Oh, where's the exhaust? There it is. Oh no, I was hoping there might be some paint up in there. Because that would just be funny. That just shows you how clean and efficient it was burning the the paint. Anything on that side? Oh, oh yeah, look at the hole right there. Pull the light towards the middle of the truck. Oh, I can't see it. Middle. There you go. Right there, it's a connecting rod right there. Oh, can I grab it? I don't it's think probably I was, warm. That was the only thing I was suggesting. Probably warm, yeah. I wonder what happens if we try to crank it. One way to find out. <laughs> I mean, it obviously doesn't have much oil in it. <laughs> I think the lack of oil is the least of this engine's problem. <laughs> is it out of gear? Uh... Where's that flashlight? I want to see if I can spy the hole from up here. Oh uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's right behind the motor mount. You can see it just bellowing out. The whole, is the whole motor mount broken? Oh yeah, yeah. The Maybe motor mount's was... not doing much of anything. Yeah. Well, we can't really get a diagnosis from out here, but I think she's wounded. Yeah. I mean, I think it's the cabin air filter. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to drive it to North Carolina. No, you don't think? No. I'll try. I'll see how far I get. <laughs> oh. I think she's. I think she's seized now. Let's see. Come on, baby! It wants to go again. Oh. Oh. Okay, no, 
maybe not. Hold on, we just need some more juice. This might be, might be all she wrote. Oops, missed. I can't believe it's still not locked up. Oh, oh, she tight. She tight. Okay, she's, okay, she's done. Now it's done. Okay. All right, well. That was good fun. Not bad for your last day. I love it. Best day at work ever. <laughs> oh, unfortunately now we have a mess to clean up. By that you mean I have a mess to clean up? I'll help until I gotta leave. Okay, okay. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed that. It's definitely different from our normal videos. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We do silly stuff like this occasionally, but um, this was big silly. Yeah, but I think um, maybe when like you come back on vacation or something, we'll try it with a motor that's not already on two cylinders to I was start with. Say, I hope I can still use that uh, air intake tube because that's off my other Ranger. I, I kind of need that. We'll just make you a aluminum one for all the Ram air. So, anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode. See you guys next time. <laughs>